now welcome to Look at Her Bay Queen After Show, where we have our big star look at all of their favorite queens and tell us a little something, a little tea, and if they get shady, we snap the fan. Today we have Miss Adore Delano with us. If you missed her main interview, make sure to click the link wherever the hell it is and see all the tea that she's built. You gave us some good shit this time. Did mm. I? You threw a little shade. It was good. Uh, <laughs> I just have a big fucking mouth. Yes. yes. And of course, Lady Red is here with us, looking like Adora Delano's sister. <laughs> Give him the red look. What's up, girl? <laughs> Yo, girl, what's up? <laughs> Uh, Lady Red is wearing a wig by Rockstar Wigs that she got at DragCon. So thank you, Rockstar Wigs. You can find them at rockstarwigs.com. And today I am wearing a Bless Me With Your Boner t-shirt <laughs> from Cunties at what's the tea.net. And uh, we have a little gift for you before we get started. I didn't even see yeah, that. Yeah, bless me with your boner. That's so good. Mm -hmm. I love boners. Oh, I forgot to give this to you at the end of the show, but and all the bitches are going to be jealous. I'm scared. It's a sold out clothing. Hey, Queen T. Yes, bitch. Yes, bitch. I'm going to wear the fuck out of this. Yes. Yeah, that's uh, dope. And you know I love me some t-shirts. I perform in them. I know you do. <laughs> no, of course it needed. Can I put um, it right here? Yes, you can. Thank you. Um, and also, I want to shout out Terry Blast for this lovely little version of me that he made. It's cute. Ding. Oh, I love you, Mila Johnny McGovern. <laughs> uh, now, are you ready to play? Look at her! I'm so scared. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Let us begin. Look at her! Which one? <laughs> <laughs> well, there's you, it's Bianca, and Courtney on the red carpet for the grand finale. Yes. Um, those are my fucking ride or dies. Like, those girls have helped me so much um, with everything in my life. Like, whenever I have a problem, I call Courtney. Um, whenever, like, I need something, I call Bianca, like money. Um, or, <laughs> no, no um, but they're just really awesome human beings and I didn't think that I would form a friendship as close as I have with them they're um, it, they're just they're closer than best they're like my family like I just feel like complete when I'm around them uh -huh. and they're just like very comforting and they're just awesome fucking drag queens they're really good at what they do and I just want to sock them both in the jaw for it because they're so pretty <laughs> and they both were kind of like showbiz pros very that so that was that's a good sort of mentor yeah. sister type of relationship to have definitely we you know a uh, 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 important thing that um, Bianca had told me and she she told it to Michelle as well um, uh, she said <laughs> she's like you know what you don't have to get what um, Adore does. She's like, but you know what? There's a thing called respecting what Adore does. There's a different thing. She's a drag queen nonetheless. And, and um, she sat me down and was like, we're all from different universes. And this was before um, the crowning last year in Vegas. She's like, we're all from different universes of drag, but we have a mutual respect and a friendship with each other that um, I don't think any other top three has had. We, we're just fucking, we're like, Sisters, man. Yes. I'm Michelle Pfeiffer, though, and, and um, what's that one movie? Witches of Eastwick? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm Michelle Pfeiffer. <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah. Uh, I love them. Is your group text still going? Yes, it is. <laughs> it's, it's, it's Darian, um, Courtney, Bianca, and I, every single day, I wake up to like 48 text messages. I'm like, <laughs> you guys need jobs. Um, <laughs> It's so annoying. I have to catch up, and they're just all talking about things that were there before I was born, so I don't know what the hell's going on. <laughs> no, I love those fucking bitches. Look at her. Look at her. Oh, Sharon. Oh, the queen of Halloween. Oh, Sharon. Um, you know what's funny is she actually was really um, I I inspiring for me um, as a baby queen when I first started. She um, she kind of changed the game in drag. You know, when she won, it was really controversial. I think in the way that um, a lot of a lot of girls um, thought uh, she made it okay for a lot of uh, the young queens to be like fucking weird and and um, and spooky and and um, it was cool if you liked punk rock music and you were a drag queen because of her. And I, and I thanked her for that when I first met her. And she was very lovely. And um, I got to really um, form a bond with her on the the 
RuPaul's um, bot store. Um, I wanted to strangle her um, in the beginning, but um, did you? Why? Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, she's she's Sharon, uh, <laughs> and I mean, she she has um, you know, it's just we have different person. A lot of us have different personalities. Uh -huh. and I'm just I'm chill, man. I mean, I'm like a smoke a blunt, give me a fucking peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I'm chill. Right. But it's like I I just. In the beginning, but I just fucking, <laughs> I grew to love her to death. She's actually one of my favorite people on that tour. She was fucking hilarious. Yeah, she was really, I thought her talking parts were very, very she's funny. Funny and very intelligent, intelligent person. For sure. Yeah, a good queen. All right. Yeah. Look at her. Alaska. Alaska. Now, on our main show, you did what I think is the most perfect uh, impression <laughs> of Alaska. Just give me a little another so taste good. of that. She'd be like, like, we'll be in rehearsal, and she'll be like, Zor, do you want to close the show today, or do you want me to? <laughs> and I was like, oh, okay. Um, no, but um, Alaska's a really, really hard worker. She's um, very professional. She, um, if, if one of the queens is having a diva moment on tour, and they're like, I don't want to do this part, she's like, I'll do it. And she just loves performing. And it's really um, neat to see somebody that's just a natural performer like that, and very creative and, and weird. And um, just awesome. She's an awesome fucking queen. She's she was also a big inspiration before she was on Drag Race, actually. Oh really? Yeah. Have you seen a video of her? It was um in 2009. Mm. Did you see? Um, it was for a tranny shack. She got peed on while she was singing "I Will Always Love You." Oh wow! And she was in a yellow gown. She looked beautiful. And these <laughs> these guys walked up to her and, and they stood on these crates and they took their dicks out in a jock strap and had pig masks on and started peeing in her mouth. And, and all over her, and she was just belting this song out with piss all over her. Wow. And it was the best thing I've seen in my fucking life. <laughs> and um, she'll forever be my favorite queen for that shit. I thought that it was awesome. is hardcore. I love some piss play. Wow. All right then. <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> oh, Kennedy. Kennedy, also at the finale. Uh, Kennedy's a sweetheart. She, um, I met her in Dallas for one of the sh uh, one of um, my shows that I did at the Brick, um, because that's her home home bar. Right. And she was very lovely. I don't really know her that well, but um, she she has that like that like um, kind of like homegirl um, like energy. Like like I seen her um, when I was filming something for a while backstage with the girls, and she was just really lovely and and cool. She's just chill. I don't again. I don't really know her. But yeah. Like, Are you like, watching season seven? Have you even gotten a minute to watch it? I got caught up because I was filming something for Logo. Right. And I was like, they're like, did you watch it? I was like, uh huh. And then uh, <laughs> I, they caught me up. But um, yeah, I I I. I Missed like two episodes. I think. All right, you're yeah. doing pretty good. That's yeah. pretty good for someone as busy as you. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I bought it on iTunes, so it's like update, download new drag race. I was like, okay. Like, All right, oh, I've been there. Fine. Back to prison. Fine. <laughs> I love her. She's cool. Look at her. Jasmine. Jasmine. Hey, Jasmine. You know what? She, I, I personally think that she should have stayed on longer. Um, she is a fucking amazing queen. Um, she was. Actually, one of the the first queens that I worked with here as well. Um, All I, right, from right in the from in the hood. Yes, right? I worked um, a lot at a VIP with her, um, and she was so kind to me, and uh, just always very sweet and very wise and funny as fuck, and um, and will give you advice without being shady. Like maybe you should do this a little bit more when nobody's listening, which uh -huh. I really respect. Oh yeah. Um, and I just think she's she's very professional and very. Um, Sweet, she's a sweet fucking queen and very talented. Yeah, you're Patty Labelle. Yes, she's on fucking on fleek. On fleek. Yeah. Yes, Lady Red. That's Lady Red's cousin. <laughs> I love her to death. <laughs> she's a good queen. Look at her. Ah, Tempest. Tempest. She's so sweet, and she's a fucking professor at a college. I know, and a daddy. And a daddy with adorable kids. Um, she's just so sweet, and she gives that like fatherly energy and motherly energy. Um, she um also I always end up liking the queens that get like kicked off first. I'm like, we I want to see more of her. Mm -hmm. Same thing with Kelly Mantle. Like I wanted her to last longer because I just really think she's. I don't know. But we're talking about Tempest. Uh, but Tempest. Um. She, I think she should come back for All Stars too if they have one, because I think she really does. Would does she just the ever that. elusive All Stars too? If we have one, <laughs> yeah. All right, look at her. Oh, Darian. Darian, part of the group text. Oh, the shady elephant. That's what. That's what. <laughs> that's what Bianca calls her. Her shady elephant. She's um, 
Darian and I have become really close, and I was really surprised because I didn't, I didn't, I didn't think she liked me. But um, in the beginning, uh -huh. I didn't think she or Courtney liked me in the beginning. And then um, as the the episodes were were going on, I actually formed like this weird like bond with her. Um, whenever our like um, hotels are like late or whatever, I just lay on her and we fall asleep. But uh -huh. I, I love me some Darian. She's so um, underrated, and she's very talented and um, just fucking. Funny as fuck, and she's such a shady bitch, <laughs> such an asshole, and I love her so much for that. She's such a um, and we always would make fun of her on the show because she would say something, and we'd be like, "Bitch, what? You got that joke off of Google?" Because <laughs> everything she says just sounds like a fucking Google joke, but um, she's she's just funny like that. She's such a douchebag. <laughs> What's yeah. something we would not know about Darian Lake? Darian, um, let me see. Darian pulls trade, a lot of trade. Oh, no, more trade than all of us, girl. Wow. <laughs> in drags, and I love it. We would be in Chicago, and we all be like, we're horny, and then we'll turn our like grinders on, and Darian's like in the corner making out with the fucking twink, and I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> I had my eyes on that ass. Like she's, she's, she pulls dick. All right. Yes. Look at her. Oh, Katya. Katya, wearing her Twin Peaks inspired look from the finale. You know, Katya is the true winner of this season, I think. Oh, okay. I, I do think that she actually should have won the whole season. She's definitely a people's um, hero. She was so sweet in person. Fucking awesome human being. Like, I was kind of nervous to, to do this um, wow thingy that I did backstage with them because I didn't know any of them. And she was like, you suck at this. And like grabbed the thing. And she, just was like, <laughs> and she was so funny. And she started interviewing me. Right. And then, um, I started interviewing her back. And she just gave like a, like a homegirl like energy. Like it, she's just so sweet and so um, approachable, which I think is so important to have as a drag queen, um, especially if you're working with the public. It's like, I, I think it's important to be approachable and she yeah. gives warmth. Like when you totally. see her, you want to go up to her and hug her. Like she has a jujube vibe. Like you want to go up and be like, let me talk to her. She looks inviting, like very that. She was, she humped Lady Rag's, uh, red, Lady Red's yeah. leg right when we saw her out in the smoking bag. I wasn't well. ready for that. Did she leave you slimy? <laughs> oh my gosh, she was just too excited. I felt it on my leg. <laughs> Because Lady Red was like, oh, I did feel her penis on my leg. I love it. I love it. And she also likes piss play. All right. All right, then. <laughs> Look at her. 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 Look at her.